Antitrust law, of course, gets its name from the big trusts that were founded in the late 1800s and early 1900s and which were so problematic at the time. For instance, the Great Sugar Trust led to a significant Supreme Court case in the late 1800s. And Standard Oil, the predecessor to what is now Exxon, had a huge antitrust case which furnishes law to this day in the field of the rule of reason approach to antitrust law. And then at the end of World War II, there was a great case involving Alcoa, the Aluminum Company of America, and breaking up Alcoa because it controlled such a huge portion of the aluminum field. More recently, we can turn to any number of other companies which have faced charges of forming illegal monopolies, of being, in effect, trusts that we don't trust. And one example of this would be 3M. Uh, at least for a time, the Scotch tape market was almost, almost exclusively controlled by one company, the 3M company. And the governing authorities went after 3M based on the notion that they should not control that much of the market. Antitrust law issues cover a gamut of activities. It can be unfair pricing. It could be uh, unfair uh, acquisitions of other companies so that you take too much of the market share. Uh, it can be illegal tying arrangements in which you force people to uh, buy one product that they don't really want in order to get another product or service that they do want. So you jack along one product to get another one. There are any number of antitrust behaviors that are covered in the law and it is an area which is so deeply connected to economics and public policy and competition that it's certainly an area which we will find into the future as well.